Hello stockers and welcome to another episode. I was just on the beach swimming and now I'm having a breakfast, but I wanted to make a quick video because a lot of the students in the chat room, we have a chat room. I uh, joined us chat.stockguru.us. They were asking me about what this meant because this was a very important moment for the NASDAQ, for the tech sector, for the US stock market in general. Why? If you're looking at this, this is the NASDAQ Composite Index, right? So this is the movement of the NASDAQ over time, the tech sector, the biggest tech stocks. The NASDAQ is the first electronic um, brokerage company or electronic marketplace for, for buying stocks. So this was COVID, right? And this was the movement of COVID. We, we crashed down from 12,000 or 11,000 all the way to 7,000, quite a big drop. Here we, we went from, let's zoom out a bit. We went from 9,780 all the way down to 6,500, which was a huge drop, almost a 35% drop in the US tech sector. And then from that drop, we went from 6,500 all the way back on the printing of money. Here they printed $2 trillion. And they said that would be more than enough money to get us back um, to keep the economies going during the whole COVID pandemic. To put that in perspective, in 2008, there was only $1 trillion of US money supply in existence. So when they printed $2 trillion, they made a huge difference to the money supply. Then here they printed another $2 trillion, even though they said they would only need $2 trillion maximum. And just now they printed another $1.9 trillion. So we have huge money coming into the market, and it's been propped up, keeping the NASDAQ in the tech sector since 24th of March, climbing on this trend line. So last week we had the break of the trend line here. Um, and then it went back above and it held really strongly at 12,599 and bounced back. And if you watch yesterday's video, I made a video on the NASDAQ before the open yesterday. This was a very important line that we hold here on the 13,024. And I had drawn that target in before the trading day and it almost touched it. It came to a low of 13,039. So it was about 15 points off um, or less even. Yes, 15 points off. So it went down to that trend line and then it bounced off there. And that's a very important moment. And that was very good for us that it did bounce off there. And we had an MA cross, everyone. So that's very that's a very good news on what happened yesterday. It was very important that it did that. So I'll put that in perspective. Um, here was the previous MA cross, right? When we had a moving average cross on the NASDAQ, that was just after the pandemic and just after they started printing money around... Oh no, November 12th, we had an MA cross here. And since that moment, since that MA cross, we had a rise from um, 11,500 all the way to a high of 14,000. And then the MA crossed here to head down. But quickly, the MA cross just crossed again, heading back up. And that's very good news for us. It means we're more than likely we can recover from this because what we want is we want the, the NASDAQ and the tech sector and all the tech stocks. And this, this chart is playing out nearly across the board on all the tech stocks, even on a lot of the, just the general market itself. What we want it to do is get back above this trend line and keep climbing. Oh, yeah. If it can do that, if it gets rejected off here, then it can come back down again. And right now we're at that point. So as you can see, it closed, um, but it's still, it closed, it bounced off that trend line, which we needed, and we needed this MA cross. But if you actually look at the, the tip of the candle, it's just below this trend line. The trend line is at 13.304. And that was my target yesterday that we wanted to get back above. We need to get back above 13.04. Tomorrow's trading day now, I mean, on Monday's trading day, it will be a little bit higher because the, the trend line moves up each day, right? And that's why I have to update this usually every single day. The next trend trading day is the 22nd of March, Monday's trading day. And we need to get up at 13.335 on Monday's trading day. And that will con confirm that we're back onto this trend line. We need it to close above 13,335. I'm trying to put 13,337, let's put. We need it to confirm and close above that. And then it's very bullish for the overall tech sector and the stock market again, because we're above on this trend line. We had the MA cross indicating movement starting to go up. We have stochastic in our side. The, the stochastic is overbought above. As I teach you in the Stock Guru Master Course, you can see the link in the description, the pin comment, or www.stockguru.us. In the course, if you've been losing money in the stock market, if you've seen people make lots of money in Bitcoin and stocks and you want to follow along, or you've been just hearing about the course, the Stock Guru Master Course, you can see many reviews from my students here. Join the course. It will change your life. It's $333, and uh, it's made many millionaires, many multimillionaires. You'll learn everything you're doing here. Best brokers, how to buy stocks in your brokerage account, how to do technical analysis, set up the charts that you've seen here so you can follow along, how all this works, and I go in-depth in the course and it's it's um also i teach you the laws of money so it's very powerful um so rsi stochastic when they're above the dotted lines overvalued below the dotted lines undervalued 
um, so right now the stochastic overvalue turning to head down but the rsi was midway and turning to head up so i believe we're going to have this turn back up the rsi keep heading up this is squeezing building pressure for an explosive movement up and it looks like it's going to move to the green side we had this ma cross so for monday we need to get above 13337 on monday's trading day if we do and we go up and we close above that that's very bullish then we're going to do something like this move on to we're going to come up to 13702 bounce off and then start heading back up on this trend line and that's more than likely the scenario will happen and we'll hit all of our targets as we go up the yellow tags are the targets so target one target two target three the red tags if it fails on this three, 13 337 if it bounces off there and then gets rejected and the ma crosses again then it's very unhappy for us and the u.s stock market and just in general because really the nasdaq then it'll reattempt this 12 um 408 and if it breaks that it can really free fall the u.s stock market and then and i i don't think they can let that happen because they already printed 1.9 trillion dollar stimulus if this free falls they're going to be limited in what they can do with the rates going up it will put a lot of pressure on the fed and just be very they've manufactured this entire market so they really want it to stay up above here and i believe they're going to keep it up there it's very important that they do so we had this ma cross this is bullish sign stochastic rsi will turn stochastic will turn to head up rsi not yet overbought turning to head up squeeze mob squeezing building pressure targets 13702 for monday's trading day but we what we really need to see is just mainly a close it's very important i'm just going to put one target for monday's trading day we need it to close above 13337 and then that will confirm this ma cross that will confirm that we're back on this trend line and that will be very bullish for the stock market um but you've got to also remember that overall keep these things in perspective you still dollar cost average as a teacher in the stock room master cost because this is the u.s stock market this is the nasdaq the top stock tech stocks in the u.s and it always goes up the u.s stock market always goes up this was the dot-com bubble in 2000 year 2000 this was the global financial crisis in 2008 2009 and this is the u.s tech sector in the new u.s stock market and it always goes up the trend is your friend it's massively trending up stochastic and rsi are overbought so dollar cost average over a longer period of time but the u.s stock market always goes up even covid was this little blip here this was GFC, this was .com. So it always goes up, go with the trend, trend massively trending up. Um, so let's see what happens on Monday's trading day. We zoom in, we're looking on the hourly. And Monday confirming similar pattern to me. Um, we had an MA cross open here to head up, then the MA cross to head down. This is on the hourly candle. So we're seeing exactly what's going to happen for Monday's trading day. We're going to try and predict. Um, so now it bounced off the support 13, zero, nearly exactly on that support that I drew in. That red, red tags are the supports that we had from yesterday. Um, these were our red tags bounced almost perfectly off that and it's heading back up towards 13377 and we need it to get up there stochastic rsi oversold turning to head up squeeze mob squeezing building pressure it can really do that on monday we need it to come up above 137337 and bounce around and close there we need it to close above 13337 that's target one and that's what we really need to do if that happens we also confirm a reverse head and shoulders shoulder head shoulder and that's a very big explosive movement up to these targets for the yellow tags as it goes across um which will be beautiful so i hope you liked this video i hope you learned a lot it was a quick one i just wanted to do an update on the nasdaq i might do one on tesla as well um and it was a very good moment for us for a lot of the tech sector and a lot of tech stocks which is beautiful i have my breakfast here i'm going to eat it i hope you have an amazing night a good rest big congratulations this was important for the week everyone that nasdaq held above this it was quite a volatile week and a, a difficult last two weeks um, but remember, keep things in perspective. Don't panic. Even if it does drop off a cliff down here, beautiful, because then you're getting your discounts on your stocks that you want to buy for the next five to 10 years. But we do want it to hold up here and just keep dollar cost averaging and have keep big exponential movements. We don't really, because a lot of people, when they're new to trading, you'll learn not to do that after you take the Stock Guru Master Course description, pin comment, www.stockguru.us. But a lot of people, when they're new to trading, when you have these drops like we had last week, a lot of people panic, get depressed cry commit suicide etc in the course i'm going to teach you not to do that because you've got to remember we're in this for the five to ten year long run if it does drop down to here that's beautiful because then we're getting our companies at massive discounts that we expect in five to ten years from now will be much higher priced um, but what we want to have happen is obviously our money to keep growing and not have corrections and this was an important week for us so i hope you like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button the bell the thumbs up button so you're notified of these daily videos so you get these notifications i will be going live tuesdays and saturdays um 8 p.m new york time join me on this channel we go live we talk stocks it's amazing join us um, take the stock guru master course it will change your life it's many many, many millionaires and many multi-millionaires i hope you like this video i hope you learn a lot this is james from stock guru and i'll see you again tomorrow